he's going to let him do an off lead search. He has uh, he has the same thing I put on my kids. Uh, handle. On his own, he will make his way around. He he loves this, guys. And if Chris, this is Chris Cox, one of our handlers. He'll be working here in Baldwin County. Good boy. All right, what you saw was the initial change in behavior. He he starts getting it. You'll see him circle, and then he we have what they call a, a passive response. He sits. An aggressive response such as clawing is not uh, conducive to jail code. So we, we've opted for the passive. Right now, 
what we, we consider the full capability of the dogs is classified. And that dogs are, are very dynamic. They can find a multitude of things. Uh, we will limit the numbers of scent pictures just to help uh, with the confusion. But for now, I won't tell you everything that they yeah, can do. That's fine. I just wanted to know if it's all fish or you have just specific fish. They can, they can tell the difference between species and they can tell the difference between uh, a carcass that's laying on the boat. And we've desensitized them to like an ice chest. We're looking in the ice chest. You're telling me, Scott, I went and caught fish. They're in here. The dog is kind of desensitized to that. They go to the areas where uh, you don't normally keep fish. And they're very, very intelligent. The, uh, the little springer, Morgan, she remembers every place on every boat she has searched. So she, if she goes back to a boat, she will go to the last place she found something. She's probably searched 50 or 60 boats. Uh, so we, we, that's a training thing for us as we work through that. They, they have great memories. Yes, sir. Thank you, Scott. Good job. And I'm grateful that you pursued this. Uh, you know, I mean, you were telling me one time, was it, I couldn't hear uh, when Bart had walked, he was walking away as he was speaking, that, that seal, was that the seal cooler that we were talking about that was in the engine room? No, I would, that's a, it's a great story. Uh, I watched some of the training. Uh, I'm by no means a, a handler. I'm just, I snuck outside and watched. Fillets, as you saw, packaged. Uh, it was actually a, a smaller sample than what you saw here in a similar type soft sided ice chest, zipped up. Inside a dry box, which is found on a boat, which people ordinarily put their flares and emergency equipment in, that has a rubber gasket and a, and a clamped lid inside a compartment on a boat. And when I put the dog on the boat, I'm not a trained handler, but I saw his little tail wag a little bit and I changed in behavior. He did not alert, but he made a change in behavior. The handler then recognizes the change in behavior and says he detects something. They open a, a, a lid of a compartment and then he, he picked it up. It just tells us to go further into the search. Uh, they're, they're trained to alert at a certain level. And so yes, inside of uh, basically four layers, he, he was able to detect the fillets. You got another one? Go ahead. I, I was just going to make a comment back in the 80s when I was attending Auburn University. And shortly after, I remember reading an article about a lady who had, uh, had millions of dollars and she had no one else but her dogs and she had left her money to her dogs. And I thought, one day we're going to have some smart dogs here. <laughs>